This event is quite special to the university in the sense that these books are an output of Strathmore University Press. We thought right from the beginning that for us to be on the right course of propagating academic discourse, we needed an instrument to disseminate our scholarly activities. This is a characteristic of great scholars. They do not think for you, they do not think on your behalf, they do not make you think as they do, but they help you think and develop. And I stand here today thanks to these two great professors, JB and Patricia. Unless universities invest in research, publication and dissemination of research, we will continue to access information about ourselves and our experiences through the prism of others. These publications are therefore part of a broader agenda to counter knowledge he hegemonies by establishing a culture of rigorous peer-reviewed legal research and publication in Kenyan universities. <laughs> But this work, a seventh edition, is not a general discussion of the broad span of constitutional law. Rather, it focuses on the essential design of the Constitution and on the place of one of its central devices, namely the judicial organ. cannot develop jurisprudence without sterling contributions from the academia, the bar and other jurisdictions from which we can borrow useful lessons while exporting uh, jurisprudence to them. The JTI, therefore, that is the Judiciary uh, Training Institute, therefore is establishing networks with law schools and academics and that can train our judges and the magistrates who can convene their schools, workshops to discuss our Imagine jurisprudence, critique our decisions, and publish that critique in a scholarly journal.